Hey there, YouTube. Papa Don coming back at you for another break video. Uh, the channel's break. Breaks and stuff. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe and that like. Leave me a comment below. Um, again, uh, this is uh, really a part two of that of my 90 flares, uh, 90 flare baseball break. Looking for that uh, all elusive Jose Uribe. I did not find it in this box over here right there did not find it uh, but that's okay inexpensive box fun break uh big chance um to get that uh that that mysterious card does it exist does it not exist actually it does exist it's number 74 in the set um so that's what i'm looking for i'm excited about this new uh, this break this video i got 1990 Fleer baseball rack packs i really enjoy rack packs i always enjoyed them when i was a kid uh, you can see the cards and the, at least the outside six cards um, and, uh, and all that good stuff. So I'm going to get going. Um, I'm not going to take too much time here. I'm going to get this video going. Upper Deck coming. Another video. But this 1990 special edition three, uh, at least three video set. Uh, upper Deck over here. And two boxes of 90 Flare. So let's get going. Again, Breaks and Stuff is a channel. Um... Let's get this opened. Look at all those rack packs. Gotta love it. Hard to find rack pack boxes. Uh, you can find these everywhere and pretty inexpensive. Those rack packs are pretty difficult to uh, to find. So I was pretty excited when I found this one at the card, the card shop. Again, um, like I said in the other video, if you watched it, if you haven't, I'll post, I'll post the link below. Um, part one of the 90 Fleer series. It's actually 90 Fleer box, wax box. Um, if I get a Jose Uribe, um, if I get a second one, I'm going to be giving that away to a lucky subscriber. So make sure you subscribe, hit that like, post a comment. I will respond to all my comments in, uh, in this, in this video in any video. Let's see here. Okay. I'm gonna try to get the box. It's, it's a pretty large box, so I'm not going to go over the entire box. I don't think there's much on the box. Um, basically the same thing as a 90 Fleer box. Um, same thing, same card. So let's get let's get ripping. I'm gonna actually I'm gonna turn to the side here. It's pretty pretty large box. So what I'll do is actually I'm gonna take all these. Look at all these. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of cards. I think there's probably over 800 cards in this box. Put that over to the side. I'll put this in the background so you guys can see what, you know what I'm ripping open here. here we go. Let's check it out, Rack Packs. Again, I love these. I really love these Rack Packs. Uh, I not really love the set, or this, you know, but you get three stickers, that's always always cool. I always check out stickers. They probably don't stick very well now, but um, get a collector's pin for $4.99 if you wanted to back in the day. Um, flare collector sheets, uh, a book. Get the complete binder. Um, one, one free baseball, or eight free baseball cards and Let's see, one logoed sticker, 10 top loaders for 10 bucks. That's kind of expensive for back in 1990, but okay. Let's get ripping here. It's going to be a little, I'll try to keep this video not super, super long, but again, it's like opening up three packs in one, huh? Jose Uribe is the magic card you want, we want to get here, so. Oops, that's not a good start. Sticker, ooh, leak standout. I didn't know those were in there. Wade Boggs, nice. Put them over to the side. I forgot about those, huh? All right, let's get going. You're looking for a Pirates card number 74. Is he in here? Again, if you don't know who Jose Uribe is, card was, uh, wasn't made too much. Um, I think there's not many in existence. They, they go for a couple bucks on eBay, ungraded, all the way up to a PSA 10. Couple hundred bucks on 150 to 200 bucks consistently. Um, you know, some people are going into the thousands on these on these uh, on these cards, trying to get a little bit of extra money. But again, 150 to 250 is about average for a PSA 10. So it's definitely worth you know getting graded. Look at how badly cut that Maddox was. Hmm. Let's adjust the camera a little bit here. I want to be able to let you see what's going on. Yeah. So you definitely want to get this. Definitely want to get these graded. Jose Rebate, if you get it. Okay, 
Okay. Yeah, these are these are cut bad. These aren't going to be PSA tens. These are bad. These are really really cut really cut bad. So if he's in this pack, this wax or in this whack pack, I should say. Actually, there's a Tony Gwen in there, but I'll go back through that later. Okay, one down. Is he on the outside? No. Hmm. Be amazing if he was, though, huh? If he was, that would be pretty, pretty awesome. I see a couple yellowed stickers. I'd be really excited if I saw him on the outside of the, buy, of the pack. Let's see if these ones are cut any better. Mark and Guire, not cut great. Not cut. Oh, Jim Presley, Robbie Thompson, Jay Bell. If I get on their checklist, I'll I'll show you that it does exist in the series, or in the set. Card number seventy-four. Again, these are these these cuts. These cuts are really not not been the greatest on these cards. So the centering is way off. Kevin Bass. Again, there's Griffey. Uh, yeah, he's a little he's a little off centered. Took me to almost the last pack to get Griffey last time. So, got Griffey qu quick, much quicker this time, which is a good sign. Let's see, that's not the checklist I'm looking for. Billy Hatcher, he is a pirate. So we're looking for a pirate. Let's see here, Astro sticker. Another Wade Boggs League standout, huh? That's two of those. Huh. Let's see. Oh, these are these are cut a little bit better. John Smoltz. Don't believe that's his rookie card. I think it's his second year. 89 is his rookie, I believe. Actually, that might be his rookie. Let's see. And that uh, that rack that wax pack's gone. Or that uh, rack pack's gone. Let's see if he's on the back of this one. No, no, no. And some stickers. Let's see what those what those league standouts are. League, does it say on here? I don't think it says on here. There, one of six cards set inside. There's only six of them? Hmm. Interesting. So I guess I gotta get those six. I don't think I've ever, I don't, I think I've ever, ever got those. I don't, honestly, I don't think I've ever seen those. And I've opened some of these rack packs. I mean, it's been a while, but maybe back in the day. Put up a lot of 90s cards when I was younger. I'm sure we all did. I'm sure we all have a lot of Jose Uribe's, maybe, laying around. You know, boxes of card in the attic. It'd be worth it to go through your attic and go through some of your old cards. I'll be a couple hundred bucks sitting there waiting waiting for you. You can use that a couple hundred bucks and go buy a new, a new box. Maybe something like 2019 Stadium Club or, you know, some of those cards. Those are really beautiful cards. Great cards for autographs. Okay, nothing good there. Again, so far, so far, nothing. Nothing doing. Hey, I got a Mark Grace. Look at that cut, though, man. Oh, my goodness. You can see the paper ripples on there. Wowzers. Come on. Fleer. There's a pirate. Nope. Not the pirate I'm looking for. Come on, Jose Uribe. Jose leaned. Oh, that's two in a row. Got one on the other box, too. And I was so excited and saw the Jose, and then... Wah, wah, wah. Okay, here we go. Anything on the back here? Nothing on the back. I really want to get those league standouts. I want to get all six of those. Oakland Athletics. Barry Larkin. All right, we're so far so good. But you can see how the... See the paper... Not a very good cut job. It almost looks like they used a, a manual paper cutter to shred those. Let's see. Right, the, the centering getting a little bit better. Still not the greatest, but again, will we see Jose Leaned? Or excuse me, Jose Uribe. They got me saying Jose Leaned. Pull enough of those. Okay, we're we doing. Del Murphy. Again, yellow. We're looking for yellow. The Pittsburgh Pirates background. Showstopper. Our starter. Starter and stopper. Sid Fernandez. Hope you're having a good, good day. Hope you're enjoying the video and the content. 
Hopefully we can make uh, make it happen today, huh? Gary Thurman. Barry Larkin. Another Nolan Ryan. Okay, again, Bill Ripken. I don't know why I didn't say Billy Ripken, but I think on his rookie card in 90, 89 player, it says Billy Ripken. The famous card with the F word on it, if you ever got it. There's Don Mattingly League later. Or League Standout. There we go. I'm getting close to my set on those. There's only six of them. Terry Leach. Donald D. Shields. Put him aside. It's a rookie card. Let's see. And nothing there. I see a pirate, but I don't see the right pirate. I'm one of these rack packs. Keep looking over there. Um, there's a Nolan Ryan. Again, centering is not the best. Glenn Davis, Bob Welch, on Kittle. Okay, nothing good there. Oop, got one more pack in there. Lots of stickers. Jose Uribe, number 74. Where you at, dude? Jose Canseco. This glove looks tiny, man. I'm not going through these. I'm seeing some pirates, but not the pirates I'm looking for. Or not the pirate I'm looking for. Cubbies. Daryl Stryber. I think I actually might have the set now. Let's go back and look. I might have all six of those. Inserts. Rare inserts. Oh, they're not rare. There's Ricky Henderson. Daryl Coles. Matt Williams. Matt Williams is uh, card number 75. Missed it by one, folks. <clears throat> one card. Number maybe maybe he's in this this pack. I see seventy four or seventy five. Well, maybe seventy four is lurking in this pack. Come on. There's a pirate, but not the one. Andy Van Slyke, another pirate. Steve Sachs. Not in that one. Bob Kipper, huh? Bob the Kipper. Rasqua. Yeah, these cards are these these centering is just way off on these cards. Look at that. Look how bad that how bad that cut is. When you mass produce cards, I guess that's what happens. When you're making literally millions of these cards, I guess that's what happens, huh? Nothing that one. Okay, keep going. We'll keep trucking here. Uh, nothing on Rick Reed is our pirate there. It's hard for me to believe if he was on the outside of one of these packs. Somebody at some point would have pulled that pack. There we go, Jose Canseco. I think I got all six now. Would have pulled him out there. So if he's in here, he's gonna be in he's gonna be somewhere in the pack. They saw it would have saw that, they would have Don Mattingly. I would have pulled that pack immediately and replaced it. Again, fortunately, it's not a sealed box. I mean, it's not sealed. It's, it's, hmm. how can I word it? It's, there's no, there's no cellophane around it. It's, so you can easily open it up, put another pack in there, take it out, pocket it, and put it away. I mean, it happens, unfortunately. Can't do anything about it. But again, if he's in here deep in these packs, that's just, it's not going to make a difference because they won't be able to see it. All right, let's see. Come on, Jose Lean, where are you at? Again, centering is just atrocious. Got yeah, Tony Gwen, how bad that centering is. Clemens, just garbage. But again, they're mass producing these cards. No pirates on the outside. Rob Deere's coming up, huh? 
trying to get through these packs as quick as possible. I'll make this video extremely long. I'm gonna, of course, if I get that Jose Uribe, I'm going to pause it, enjoy it, share it with you guys. Let's see, you know, some more prospects. Nobody of any substance in here, prospect-wise. I mean, you have the uh, Sosa... Juan Gonzalez, Joey Bell, Tom Glavin. Missed his rookie by a few years. It's a nice card, though. Come on, let's go. Mark, my Mark McGuire's got some. Is, a, is, a, is a actually spot on? That would be a 10, maybe. 9 or a 10. Again, not, not great in that, but. Only card I'm getting great in this set is Jose Uribe. If I get it, another Wade Boggs leak standout. Those leak standouts. There's a ton of those, huh? George Brett, Noakes, Bip, Bip Roberts. All right, I'm get, getting a little, little more. A little less, a little less encouraged here. Come on, What's this Sean Dunstan sticking to my. Let's see here. Well, Mark Grace again, huh? Yeah, there, those things are those things are pretty common. About one or maybe a couple packs. Bob Ventura, Jose D. Jesus. I think that's how you pronounce it. David Justice. That's his rookie card. There you go, David Justice. Spa, almost spot on. Pretty close. I always enjoyed Dave Justice when I was a kid. I really liked him as a player. I think I have every card he ever made or ever made of him. Jay Bell, come on. Jose Uribe. That's the pirate I'm looking for. Uh, let's see. Doug Drayback. Not the pirate I'm looking for. And you can see why now. Why this card is worth what it's worth. Because it doesn't, it just doesn't exist that many times. I mean, it just, it just was in short print. If that what you want to call it, that they, 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 they didn't. For some reason, they didn't. I, to be honest, I don't even think. If I remember looking at a Beckett, and again, just looking at a Beckett, I'm not really looking at prices. But in the Beckett, I don't even think his cards listed. What did that tell you? It's not even listed in a Beckett, even for a quarter. So it just tells you, no pirate there. It just tells you that it's not even listed in a Beckett. But it just, if you're in the in the know, you know that that card is short print. I'm surprised it's not listed in the Beckett. Be honest. Let's see here. Barry Larkin again. Definitely got all of those. Jose, I got it. There it is. There it is. Number one. I uh, hope the centering's good on that card. I'm going to go slow. I'm pretty excited about this. The back of the pack, too. So this definitely was a sealed box. There it is. Ugh, not a good cut. Not a good cut. Jose Uribe. Not a good cut. That is not going to grade a 10, unfortunately. But the good news is I got it. So there's one. The back of it. Again, not a good cut. Sides are okay. Top to bottom is horrible. I'm going to put him in a top loader. Again, I wish the cut was better. Not a good cut. There's one. All right, he exists. It exists. I, I pulled the a mysterious card. It's worth thousands of dollars. Too bad it's not a 10. 
but it gives me it gives me hope there may be another one in here gives me hope folks so that one's worth that one's worth a few bucks i think not going to be graded unfortunately it's this the cut is just bad so i'm not going to get that one graded but again it's it's still a cool card it's not I'm I'm probably gonna um I'll probably end up giving it away to one of you guys. I'm I'm I don't know if I'll get another one, but you know what? I think I'll give that one away to you guys. So subscribe, hit the like button, post a comment. Let me know if you like Jose Uribe and how bad the cut is. And what I'll do is I'll put that um I'll get that shipped out to you <clears throat> to a lucky subscriber. So you can say you have a nineteen ninety Jose Uribe. The unicorn of all 1990 cards. Another leak leader. Maybe I can get another one. Be a better cut. Let's see. Junior Ortiz. And he was in the very back, too. I wonder... The very back had the sticker. That's why. The sticker was blocking him. I promise you that if somebody would have saw that... Somebody would have saw that in the back. They would have uh, They would have pulled this pack out. The sticker, had, it was right behind the sticker. I know Ryan right there. Another, not a good cut. Come on, get the, where are the, why is the cut so bad on these? Bill Ripken. I'm only, I'm probably only about mm, eight to 10 packs in. I already got one Jose Uribe. So let's get another one. Let's get three. This cut's got to get better, though. They got to get more centered for me. Let's get a 10. Oh, I need a couple hundred dollars. Bobby Bonilla. Bobby Bo. Nope, nothing there. Again, not good centering on these cards. Let's see. No pirates on the front. Rob Deer, huh? Uh, this one's got a little bit better. Man, oh man. Just wish it would have been a better cut. The more I'm, the more I'm looking at it as I'm making this video, the more I wish it was a better cut. Let's see another one. Yeah, top to bottom is, is again just not good on that one. Side to side, not horrible. Top to bottom is just really bad, really really bad. It's like it's like they just this. I mean, how hard is it to cut cards? I know it's, this is a machine, but man, you think the machine would have them lined up better than that? Nope, Joe Price. Now, there we go. Keep on trucking. Maybe we'll get another one. With a better chance of getting a, a 9 or a 10 on it. Seiko. I'll make two of those sets. Uh, these that, that's, that's spot on right there. That is spot on. Too bad it's a Todd Bennings, ben, Benningser. I just even said that right. David Justice, that's actually your... I'm going to take a look at that real quick. Uh, Sammy Sosa rookie card right behind it, too. David and a Sammy. Same box. Nice. That's actually a good box. Two rookies. I'm going to go back and look at this other Justice rookie real quick. Uh, why is it? Why is the picture quality so much different in the two? The two Davids and a Sammy? Okay, I'll take that. In the same pack. Same same s slot of the pack. Let's see here. Cal Ripken. Again, cut was bad on that one. Okay, I'm going to keep going here. It's going to be a long video, folks. I'm sorry. But again, we're still chasing, chasing the, uh, 
The Jose Uribe, as you can see, if you're late to the video, he's right there. Uh, cut is atrocious, but again, I can say I have it. I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get that out to one of my subscribers. So please post a comment below, subscribe, like this video, and uh, I'll get that, I'll get that sent out to you. I'll get with you to get that sent out, so you can enjoy it and you can tell your kids all about it. Uh, nothing there. And there's a pirate, but it is not a nice pirate, it's a giant. Okay, I'll keep going here. My camera up a little bit there. Mark Gray, sleek standout. Probably batting average, I would assume. Frank, well, not worth separating for that. Save my hands there. Jerry Joey Bell, rookie. Again, not a good cut. Kyle Ripken, not a good cut. More not good than good. Again, that's probably the reason why that the PSA 10 Jose Uribe is going for 150 to 250 consistently all day long on eBay. That's the reason why right there. Because these cuts and these cards are just really bad. Really, really bad. And look at that Nolan Ryan. Side to side, top to bottom, every, everything on that card is not a good, not a good deal. Come on, good cuts. No, they look like they're all shifted over to the left again. That one just shifted to the left, ah, to the right. More on the left than on the right. Got Deion Sanders in this pack. Lee, Ken Griffey Sr. Randy Johnson. Look at that cut. Look at that cut. Oh my gosh. It's it's bad. Yeah. I don't know if we're saying it a bunch of times, but man, oh man. You get the card you're looking for, and that's the quality you get. Yeah, because Fleer doesn't doesn't uh, care about how their cards look. So getting it and getting it in a good score is gonna be even more of a mysterious challenge or about halfway through the box, I think. Let's see, Dion. Dion, not too bad. Cut. Brady Anderson. Hit about I think fifty uh fifty one home runs one year. Fifty fifty one home runs. Supreme. Bob Boone, Brett Boone's dad, I believe it's Brett Boone, oh, Henry Cotto, halfway through the box, Billy Hatcher, again, this, oh, these, these prospects were no good, no good. Vince Lake. Sorry, I'm not turning over, but I'm just going to go through these and try to get this wrapped up so we can um, move on. These, ah, oh, the centering is okay, and this one's not. Roger Clemens. Just 
One more. Give me one that's perfect. Or two or three. Kevin Moss again, huh? Only the second time I've seen his card. Saw it in the other wax box I opened up. Nothing there. Baboon. Clark. Kelly Downs. Vance Law. Nothing there. Let's see. Bo Jackson. Bo Nose. Ryan Samberg. Two good cards. I think this is Greg Vaughn's rookie, too. Greg Vaughn. Not worth a whole bunch, but still a, still a rookie nonetheless. 45 cards and three stickers per wa uh, rack pack. See why these were uh, fun to open. Wade Boggs, standout. Bradley. Ken Patterson. Got yeah, probably about five or six more packs to open up here. Be nice to get one more. He was on the very back too. Let's see if I can get one that's a little bit better, better centered. Tom Glavin. This is a rookie card by a year, a couple years actually. Sosa, Steve Finley. And rack packs are harder to find than, than regular wax pa packs or cello packs. To be honest, these are these are the, these are the ones you want to buy. Back in the day, these are the ones you wanted to get. The wa or the uh, rack packs. These are the fun ones. More cards. More fun. More stickers. This one has the league standouts. Obviously, I didn't know that they existed. At least I don't remember they existed. What I'm gonna think I'm gonna do too with those leaks down. I think I've got a couple sets going on there. I'm gonna send out with the Jose Uribe. I'm gonna send a set of those out too to you. Again, not worth a whole bunch, but one subscriber is gonna get a Uribe and a nice six card set of leak standouts. And I'll throw a few stickers in there too. So please, below in your comment, tell me what team, what's your team, and I'll make sure I get some of those stickers to you as well. Because I got a lot of them. And he was with the Giants. I apologize. I always said, the, I said Pittsburgh, but it is the Giants. Sorry about that, guys. He is a giant in that, in that, in that card. Jose Uribe. I think he was a Pittsburgh Pirate. No idea. Mm -hmm. Deion Sanders. Julio Franco. Yeah, I'm coming down to the few last few packs here. Cut is bad. Joey Bell rookie. Again, not cut good. That seems to be a common theme here. Ripken, better cut.
nothing there. Jose Rijo. Coming up. Again, just more just horrible cut cards. Got uh, four packs left. I'll wrap this one up. Again, make sure you leave a comment in the subscribe, comment, like this video. Tell me your favorite baseball team, and I'll get you. I'll get you that stuff. I'll get one lucky person. I'll use I'll use random.org to uh, go in there and randomize the names and somebody will get uh, that Jose Uribe as well as a set of league standouts six card insert and I will throw in some stickers of your favorite team again these stickers are old so don't give me give me any grief for those stickers I also, I also want to get rid of some of them so at least you can maybe enjoy enjoy them Nolan Ryan Opie McDowell Nothing there. Maybe you can enjoy them. And vintage Fleer Action Series stickers. Billy Hatcher. Paper Getty. Uh, Derek May, rookie. Juan Gonzalez, rookie. That's not too bad. Make sure he's not sitting in there. Then there's three left. Jay Buner. Leading me off here. Jose leaned. Not the right Jose. Roger McDowell. Larkin. Definitely have enough cards to make the set now. Again, do I want it? No. Do I have it? Yes. I have the box of these. A couple. I'm sure everyone does. Again, mass produced. Alright, Jose. Your rebay. Let's get you one more time in here. Let's get you a better cut card. McCuff and Steve Fry, huh? Where are they at now? What are they doing their careers? Nothing. Nothing there. One more pack to go. I don't think we're going to get another one. One is going to be the, the number here. Of 
course, the cut's better on these cards. But, doesn't help me when the card's already been pulled. Clark. Bob Kipper. The old Kipster. Okay, we're down to the last part of my last rack pack. Well, I guess this the video was a success. We got what we wanted. We got what we wanted. Now, can we get one more? I'll do Shield Rookie. I like that one. Again, one of the well, probably the only prospect in the set that's any good. That is all she wrote. So we will recap. There it is. He exists. Jose Uribe. That's the front. There's the back. One. Sorry about that. It will go out to a lucky subscriber. So please, comment below. Subscribe. Like the video. Tell me in your comment who's your favorite team, baseball team. I will get you this card, randomize it, and I will get this card out to somebody. I will also get you one six-card set of these league standouts, okay? And I will get you your favorite sports team, the sticker. Look at all the stickers I got. Yeah. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, subscribe, like, comment below. My first giveaway, Jose Uribe. Have an awesome rest of your day. Bye-bye.